every technician knows that water and coolant is combined in a 50-50 mix, and I'm willing to bet that most are careful to choose the correct coolant for the vehicle that they're servicing. But did you ever consider the water, the other half of that 50-50 mix? You will after watching this Mighty Minute. Cool water straight from the tap is a great way to stay hydrated on these dog days of summer, but it's not necessarily the best thing to use in an automotive cooling system. Even the best tap water has mineral deposits and some chemical additives that could lead to rust and corrosion buildup in an engine's cooling system or its components. These additives can also affect the coolant inhibitor package. That is, the additives the manufacturer puts in to protect the coolant and cooling system components from degradation to be depleted prematurely. Let me show you. Using a test instrument called a precipitator, we can cause any dissolved solids to come out of suspension and be visible. The jar on the left is filled with a high quality, soft tap water, and the one on the right is filled with distilled water. And even though the video has been sped up in the interest of time, the reaction only took a few moments and the difference is obvious. Imagine these deposits and their effect on the cooling system components, the radiator and heater cores, the water pump, and the engine coolant passages. That's why most coolant manufacturers recommend the use of deionized water or distilled water when making your 50-50 mix. Deionized or DI water is the preferred choice because the process results in a totally demineralized and purified water. The process of deionization is one of multiple steps. First, the water is pre-cleaned to remove as many mineral deposits and other contaminants as possible. Next, the water undergoes a process called reverse osmosis. The water is passed through a semi-permeable membrane under pressure. The process separates the water into two streams, the filtrate, or purified water, and the concentrate, or concentrated solution of impurities. Finally, the water is passed through a special deionization medium. If DI, or deionized water, is not available, distilled water is an option approved by most coolant manufacturers. Distilled water is purified by one of the oldest methods known to man. The water is brought to a boil and the steam collected and condensed. The idea is that any impurities in the water will be too heavy to remain in the water vapor and be left behind. Finally, here's a tip to help make life easy for you. Simply ask your supplier for a pre-mixed version of the coolant that you need for the vehicle that you're servicing. It takes the water out of the guesswork and helps to ensure that the 50-50 mix that you're putting in is the right 50-50 mix for the vehicle. Thanks for watching.